scientists have found in octopuses what is said to be the oldest annual sex chromosome, which evolved 450 million years ago. Welcome to this episode of Pure Science. I'm Akanksha Mishra, and today we'll discuss the importance of this study and how genome sequencing was used to study the sex chromosomes of cephalopods by this group of scientists. This is the first time that scientists have been able to figure out how sex is determined in cephalopods. Before this, the phenomenon was a mystery and it wasn't even certain whether this was due to internal or external factors. A paper by scientists from the University of Oregon, USA, conducted genome sequencing of a cephalopod, specifically a female California two-spot octopus. Before we get to the study findings, let me explain what are cephalopods. Cephalopods are marine animals like octopuses or squids that have tentacles and normally have a symmetric body design. Within these cephalopods, there's two types, coleoids and nautiloids. Coleoids include octopus, squid and cuttlefish, which have soft shells, while nautiloids includes nautilus, which has a hard outer shell for protection. The researchers of this paper focused on the soft shell cephalopods, which evolved and diverged from nautiloids around 450 to 248 million years ago. Now, genome sequencing of an organism is essentially determining its whole DNA sequence and in turn its genetic material. In 2015, scientists had sequenced the genome of a male California two-spot octopus, which was also the first cephalopod genome to be sequenced. In 2015, those scientists had found 30 pairs of chromosomes in the male octopus. In 2024, the University of Oregon scientists in their study found 29 pairs of chromosomes in the female octopus and one chromosome that was singular, namely chromosome 17. They immediately recognized the difference and then conducted genome sequencing of another unrelated male and female octopus, only to find the same thing, a missing pair in chromosome 17. This confirmed that this is a species-wide thing and females of this species are hemizygous, that is, they only have one copy of this particular chromosome, while males are diploid since they have two copies. This also led to the researchers naming chromosome 17 as the Z chromosome, which is normally used to denote the sex chromosome. What are sex chromosomes? So in humans, the determination of the sex of a human being depends on the particular combination of sex chromosome that you may have. Males have an X and a Y sex chromosome, while females have X and X sex chromosomes. With the octopi too, the scientists tried to look for a W chromosome in females, so to find a substitute for the lack of a second Z chromosome, or to find a chromosome that's unique to the female octopi. They didn't find one, thus concluding that the sex chromosomes in the California two-spot octopus are such, Z and Z for males, and Z and O for females. The O stands for the lack of another Z chromosome. To expand this analysis beyond this type of octopus, the researchers decided to look at the genome sequences of all kinds of cephalopods, including nautiloids. The purpose of genetic sequencing in their research is that it provided a detailed evolutionary history of a species, thus allowing researchers to understand not just its function, but also its different evolutionary fragments and the different relationships that it made while it was developing. The study described a family tree-like structure when comparing the genome sequences of different cephalopods. They used three octopus species, three squid species, and one nautilus species. The scientists found that the Z chromosome was an evolutionary outlier in the divergence aspect. What this means is that between the three types of cephalopods, the Z chromosome actually remained steady while the genetic sequencing changed in other ways. And the researchers hypothesized that this could be because it was efficient in getting rid of harmful mutations. Through comparing the sequenced genomes of different species, the scientists finally concluded that the Z chromosome or the sex chromosome is a unique chromosome that has a single ancient origin across coleoid cephalopods, but it does not extend to nautiloids thus showing that the chromosome evolved after the evolutionary split between nautiloids and coleoids. Yet, the fact that the sex chromosome stayed intact in cephalopods across 400 million years is what the scientists call an astoundingly long period of time. 
Before this discovery, the oldest preserved sex chromosome in animals was the sturgeon fish, which evolved 180 million years ago. Other similar ancient chromosomes include the X chromosome in insects, which apparently evolved before the insecta class itself has evolved. But it is not as well preserved as the cephalopod chromosome because it evolved multiple times after that. This is Akanksha Mishra. For more such analysis, follow the print on our social media handles.